In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Newton's first, second, and third law, which are the core of classical mechanics in high school physics. So, Newton's first law. Newton's first law states that an object will remain at rest or move in a uniform motion unless there is an external force acting on it. This law is also called the law of inertia. Basically, it means if there is no external force applying to the object, the object won't change its state of motion. Let's actually use a smart card to demonstrate it. Okay. So right now, there is no force on the smart card. And initially, the smart card is at rest, so it remains at rest. You can also see this from the graph here uh, on the app. So uh, this is the force, and that's the uh, velocity. Let me zoom in. So force, and this is the velocity. Okay, And let's start the experiment. So now you can see the force is zero and the velocity is zero as well. Because there's no force, the card will remain at rest. So now I'm gonna give the front of the card a quick pull and let my hands go after that. And let's see how will that affect the motion of the card. Perfect. All right, so let's take a look at the data. Uh, let me zoom in first. All right, so this is the graph for the force and this is for the velocity. Uh, let me further zoom in a bit so that uh, you can see it better. And just to remind you, uh, I'm gonna put force over here and I'm gonna put velocity over here. So you can see initially no force, the card remains at rest. And then this is where I applied a force on the card. And you can see the force uh, is not at zero anymore. And correspondingly on the velocity graph, and you can see the velocity of the graph uh, the velocity of the card changed from zero to a certain velocity over here. So it goes from zero to a certain velocity. And after that, you can see it roughly keeps going at a constant speed. And this is due to the fact that if you look at the force graph, the force is back to zero again because I let my hands go. So this is what Newton's first law is about. When there's external force, and then you will have a change in the state of motion of the object. Otherwise, if there's zero force, zero force, then the state of motion will not change. Either remain at rest or going at a constant speed. And uh, the speed uh, go back to zero, it is because uh, on the force graph, you can see there is a force in the opposite direction uh, exerted by the uh, end stop of the track. Again, consistent with Newton's first law. If there is a force, there is going to be a change in the state of motion. Otherwise, state of motion remains the same. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at Newton's second law. Newton's second law is the famous F equals to MA equation, whereas F stands for the net force on an object, M represents the mass of the object, A represents the acceleration of the object. And according to this equation, when the mass of the object doesn't change, 
which is normally the case, and force and acceleration will have a linear relation. And that means when force increase, acceleration will increase. And when force decrease, acceleration will decrease. And if you graph force versus acceleration, you should get a linear graph, which is a straight line. And the slope of the line is going to be the mass of the object. So let's see if we can use the smart card to demonstrate this. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the card back and forth, back and forth. And during the process, I'm constantly changing the force. So the acceleration will change accordingly and we'll get a series of data points of force versus acceleration. And let's see if it can show us the relationship between force and acceleration. Okay, let's get started. Uh, by the way, this is the force. This is the force. And this is the acceleration. Okay, so we're graphing force versus acceleration. That looks perfect. All right, stop. All right. So if you look at the graph with all the data points, eventually they form into a straight line, okay? which shows us the linear relationship between force and acceleration. We can also insert a best fit line and get the equation of it. So I mean, okay, so this is the slope of the equation. M equals to 0 0.257. And as we just talked about, the slope of this line should be equal to the mass of the card. Now let's measure the mass of the card and see if they are consistent. There, there we go. It's almost the same. The percentage error I'm sure would be smaller than 1%. So again, this verifies Newton's second law. F equals to MA. Force and acceleration are proportional to each other. They have a linear relation if the mass doesn't change. Newton's third law. So Newton's third law states that for every action force, there is an equal but opposite reaction force, which basically means if you push on someone, then that someone is also pushing on you with the same amount of force, but in opposite directions. We can demonstrate this with uh, two smart cards and we're gonna connect them with a spring. So the card will exert force on each other through the spring. So when I pull the cards back and forth, they exert force on each other through the spring. And we can use the SparkView app to graph the force on each card. And ideally, we should see the two forces are equal in magnitude, but opposite in directions. All right, so uh, this is a, a graph, and this is the force on one of the card, and this is the force on the other card, okay? So let's get started. Let me zero the sensor first. All right. Beautiful. You can see the force on both cards are equal, but opposite. They're almost a symmetric about the x-axis, right? So I can have really quick force, and I have a long force. You can actually make art with this, right? So you can already see they're equal in magnitude, 
but opposite in directions. So the force are equal in magnitude, but opposite in directions. So those are the three Newton's laws. They are one of the most fundamental laws that govern how things works in our universe.